An uptick in fires at the Salina landfill. Officials say it's because people are not throwing out batteries properly. Typically, they cause uh, one or two a year. Last year, it was 15. KSN Samantha Boring in Salina on how this is impacting the landfill. Samantha. Jeff, the city of Salina is trying to put a stop to these fires. They say it's dangerous, time consuming and costly for the landfill. The city says Monday some trash loads were brought in that started some small fires at the landfill. Turns out that trash had a few dozen batteries inside, including lithium and alkaline batteries. Work had to stop so the crew could put out the fires and pick out the batteries. Not only is it dangerous for the workers, the landfill superintendent says the fires over the years have cost the city tens of thousands of dollars. We've had a couple of fire truck fires as well, um, and they have to pull over, put the fires out, before, and then they have to wait. For the fire department to arrive, make sure everything is good before they can continue, continue on. The trucks are several hundred thousand dollars. Um, some of the equipment out here at the landfills, nearly a million dollars to replace. Landfill staff are trained to put out these smaller fires. The city says the fire department is only called if they are out of control or endangering neighboring properties. If you are needing to dispose of batteries, there is a safe way to do so. We'll have how you can do that on KSN.com. Here for you in Salina, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3. And to expand on that just a moment now, if you'd like to throw away some batteries, Salina does have a household hazardous waste facility uh, off of South Elm. Uh, city leaders are looking to add more hours to that facility uh, to uh, lower the chance for battery fires at the landfill. Another way to dispose of batteries is at the city's annual electronic recycling event on May 6th. The city also looking at expanding that event.